So today in part one of this series, we're going to cover how you can grow out the space for VIDM. So for those aren't familiar, VMware Identity Manager, which is now called Workspace ONE Access, is the identity provider that ties in the horizon and a lot of other services. The really important thing to call out here is that when you do an in-place upgrade to 1903 to, say, 2010 as an example, you don't actually have enough disk space on the base OVA. And then even when you add more disk space, you still have some more work to do. So let's just kind of show you. So if we run parted, let's see how much disk space is actually available. Just prettying it up for everybody. So you see we have 68 gigs of disk space, but that's really not that helpful, all right? So let's look at it in a different way. Okay, so you can see here, we don't nearly, as you see it's in megs, we have, you know, really, we don't nearly have enough space, but you can see we have all this unallocated free space. So let's talk about what we're gonna do, shall we? So what you would do normally is you'd shut off the VM, you know, do some cleanup, increase the disk space and all that. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to basically trigger a reboot. And then you're going to see where we're going to go from here. Because from there, we'll be going into the grub menu to have some rail fun. So it's going to type reboot. So you can see we, we pressed escape to get into the grub menu. So from here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to press, and I always forget this, that's right, P. And then the password is Horizon with a capital H and a zero for the first letter and then exclamation. And so now we're in this special menu. So we're gonna hit E to, for edit. Now we're gonna go down to where it says kernel. We're gonna edit that line. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add something to the end of it. We're gonna add init equals, and this is gonna get us into a special basically command line. Hit enter to enforce the change and then B to boot. And see here, it's actually gonna it's going to boot us into what's called root shell. Now, if we look here again, we go look at, we do a CF disk, we can see we're in the same situation, right? So now we're going to start getting, we're going to start having some fun. So we're going to go F disk, dev SDA. And then you can see here, if we print out the help menu, you can see a bunch of stuff that we see here, right? And so let's, let's go ahead and print out the partition. So you can see here kind of what we're working with, which is cool, no big deal. And you want, it's good to take note of these numbers. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit D for delete. And we're gonna delete that third partition, which is the one that actually has the OS and everything on there. But don't worry, we're gonna have some fun here. So now we're gonna hit N for new. And then we're gonna do P for primary partition. And then three. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna hit enter to accept the default and enter to accept the default. And this is the start and end. And it helps it actually get get here and actually no I made a mistake so let's fix that again so let's go new again you gotta pay attention so what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit three for default now you hit enter for the first sector and you can see how it talks about how if you can do by size and so what you actually do here is you're gonna type in uh, plus 12g which is for 12 gigs and hit enter and then now you know that you know you're at a, a much better space a much better spot here. Now what you're gonna do is you're also going to here is press A and enter. Hit the partition number and that actually makes it bootable. Now you're gonna hit W to save. And now we're gonna do a reboot. And now we'll we'll, we'll pause here while this gets back comes back up and once it's up, you're gonna see how we finish this up. Okay, so we're back. So now that it's all back up and running, the last thing you have to do is resize that volume to capitalize on that free, free space. So see, resize to FS, dev, SDA3. So you see here, it's gonna do that online resize. Okay, so to finish it up, let's just see. You look at that now, it's great. So now our root has 8.6 gigs available in exactly what you're gonna need. 
when you get ready to do your upgrade.